Three cards and add Rekindling to the hand. Okay, Rekindling. Bring back Triple Kathuga. Kathuga's a Rekindling target. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We got Witchcrafter again. Let's have a look. Against Kashira, Fenrir, add Fenrir. Maybe not Kashira. It's Lab. Kuklok with... Dude, that's so broken. When you open Kuklok Lady Furniture, insane. Big Welcome Chain Lady set Imperm. Of all cards to set, I don't think Imperm was the one. Hand Loop for one. Are we ri ri ripping the pottery? We are ripping the pottery. Okay, nice. Reset Big Welcome. Make Chaos Angel turn one. Don't know how I feel about that play, but sure. Witchcrafter Collaboration. Go Fusion Deployment. Activate Ku Clock. Activate Big Welcome. Summon Stovey. Add Stovey. Effect. Chain Stovey. Chain Stovey in hand. Set Welcome. Summon Stovey. Scorch, I think the five gifties, bro. Appreciate it, man. Welcome, summon out Mommy. Add the Ku Clock. Gonna go Call by the Grave. Target the Fenrir of all cards. Sure. Gonna go Left Arm Offering. In the Imperm column, just to flex. Add Grass. Grass in the Imperm column, just to flex as well. We're gonna mill every card in our deck. Gonna go Pottery, Banishing itself. Target Holiday. Add back the Holiday. Nice. Summon the Hain. Get Impermed on the Hain. Mommy Effect. Go Schmitta, Banish itself. Dump the Jenny. Fenrir is negated. Jenny banishing itself in a spell to add the Schmitta. Gonna go normal Schmitta. Battle phase attack into nothing. We are doing absolutely nothing because Chaos Angel doesn't allow you to beat over. Nice. Uh, Knuckles is giving his replays to chat. Dope. Love that. Okay. We're gonna go Schmitta. Tribute itself. Get Ashed. Activate Masterpiece, banishing infinite cards. Ku Clock being activated. Chain Patronus to add back five from banished. Broken. Add back six, seven, one, two, <laughs> three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm I'm confused as to what's happening here. But I'm excited. All different names. You'll have to see it. Alright. Lovely effect gets negated. Setting the welcome into the stovey. By street not allowing your guy to be destroyed. Uh, we're gonna reveal uh, infinite cards in our hand. Reveal seven. Wait, that's game! No, it's not game. It's almost game. That's so freaking funny. The fact that they attack and you just go, yeah, my monster now has 9,000 attack points. Hain discard to pop the Chaos Angel. Nice. Run it, run it, run it. We got two Royal Creations, by the way. That's kind of insane. Big Welcome banishing itself, targeting the Hain. Chain Link 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Daruma Karma Cannon. Terrifying. Terrifying. Mommy to pop something. We're going to go this to negate the board. How do we win the game here? Is there any way we can attack direct or something or burn for 12 somehow? Hmm. Long one effect, please. Do it. Got the Pitori. They add Ku Clock. We're going to fusion summon into Vice Madame. Going to go Schmitta, banish itself. Vice Madame, chain link two to summon a Schmitta. Bring back the Madame Vare. Jenny banish itself in a spell. Go Vice Madame to add back the Patronus. Summon the Hain. Tribute Schmitta. Vice Madame effect. Pop a card. Battle phase. Swing. Buff that shit up. Swing. We take 100. Hain vanish pop. Hain swing over. But all our monsters attacked. It ain't Jover yet. Okay. It ain't Jover yet. We got Witchcrafter Scroll. We're adding back Unveiling in the end phase. Okay, Patronus Effect. Target the Pottery that's banished. They go Ku Clock. Add Creation. Activate the field. Vice Madame. Chain Welcome. Chain. Ah! He ashed himself! He ashed himself! <laughs> Ash yourself now! 
No! <laughs> yeah, Lil Bro ashed himself. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so confused. Why is it? What is going on? All right, Puck, they're thinking we of 40 months of prime, dude. Woo, appreciate woo, it, man. Smile. Morphtronic Telephone. Foolish Burial. Gonna foolish a Morphtronic Telephone. Telephone effect. Roll a die. Let's gain some life points. Summon. All right, it's time. Telephone. Gain 600. We're gonna go into Barricade Board. Telephone effect. Bring back the Telephone. We're gonna make Aurora Dawn. Aurora Dawn going to summon three tokens. We can no longer Link Summon. Telephone. I just realized Telephone is a tuner. Cthuga. Telephon, two, get back a Telephon. Let's make another Cthuga. Telephon, six, bring back a Telephon. Make a Cthuga. Are we gonna make a, the Ouroboros or something? Aurora Dawn should be both of those. We're making Alembertian with four materials. So this Alembertian will draw three cards and add Rekindling to the hand. Okay, Rekindling, bring back triple Cthuga. Cthuga's a rekindling target. Crooked Cook. Cook going to draw two cards. We're going to go Telephone. Bring back a Telephone. Why, why Crooked Cook? Garden Rose Maiden. Go into the Black Garden. Make Hard Make Entis. Telephone. Bring back the Telephone. All right. Telephone. We're going to bring back that from the grave. We're going to make a second Crooked Cook. We're going to make number 100 Numeron Dragon. We're going to go Entis. Pop our own Numeron Dragon. Pop our board, set Rekindling. Rekindling going to bring back Crooked Cook, Crooked Cook, Cthuga, Cthuga, Cthuga. Okay, we're going to go Thunder Spark Dragon to draw three Yu-Gi-Oh cards off the top of our deck. We're going to make another Numeron Dragon. We're going to go Thunder Spark Dragon to pop our Numeron Dragon. Numeron Dragon, wipe the board, reset Rekindling. Rekindling going to summon Cthuga, 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 Crooked Cook, Crooked Cook. Ayo! Overlay the Thunder Spark Dragon. Thunder Spark Dragon going to draw us three Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And then we're going to go Ancient Leaf, draw two more. We're going to go Pot of Avarice, shuffle some shit back. Draw two more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Let's go. Overlay both those into another Numeron Dragon. Thunder Spark Dragon, pop our guy. Thunder Spark Dragon pops that. Set Rekindling, Rekindling going to bring back Cthuga. Cthuga, Cthuga, Crooked Cook, Crooked Cook. We're going to overlay... For another Thunder Spark Dragon. Thunder Spark Dragon is going to draw three cards. Not one, not two, but three. We're going to make a Numeron Dragon. We're going to go Thunder Spark Dragon. We're going to pop that shit. Numeron Dragon going to reset the Rekindling. Rekindling going to be activated. Summon back Cthuga. 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 Crooked Cook. Crooked Cook. Holy moly. Pot of Avarice. Put back some shit. Draw some cards. Fucking run it. All right. All three Cthuga into a Thunder Spark Dragon. Who would have guessed? Thunder Spark Dragon draws not one, not two, but three. Why is there a zany zebra in your hand there, buddy? Why am I seeing a zany zebra, a Dark Samorg, some Gizmek cards, Ground Collapse, Chain Summoning, Breaking Ruin God? Where is this going? Thunder Spark, pop the Numeron Dragon. Numeron Dragon, pop the Thunder Spark, set Rekindling. We're going to activate Rekindling, believe it or not. We're going to MST our own Rekindling. Chain the Chain Summoning. We now have two more normal summons this turn. Interesting. So we bring back the whole board. We go all three of those into a Thunder Spark Dragon. Thunder Spark Dragon's effect is going to draw three more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We currently only have 11 cards left in deck. So I think we're going to loop this just a little bit more. Just a wee bit more to draw the rest of our deck out here. So we're going to go Rekindling, Summon Cthuga. 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 Crooked Cook. Crooked Cook. <laughs> Pot of Avarice. Put those guys back. Run it. I don't know what he's digging for. There's an Obelisk the Tormentor in my man's hand. We're going to go Magical Mallet, shuffle back the Gizmek cards, and the Call by the Grave, and the Magical Stone Excavation, and the Call by the Grave, and the Machine Duplication to draw, I guess, new cards, lol. We're going to go Thunder Spark Dragon to draw not one, not two, but three cards. Ancient Leaf going to draw two more. That's Pot of Greed right there. Numeron Dragon. We only have four cards left in our deck. We're going to pop that. Numeron Dragon gonna pop that to reset the rekindling, and then we're gonna activate the rekindling. Believe it or not, we're gonna bring back Cthuga, 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 Crooked Cook, and uh, Crooked Cook. Yeah, we're gonna go all three of these into the Thunder Spark Dragon. Thunder Spark Dragon going to draw not one, not two, but three Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We're gonna go Pot of Generosity. Put back two Gizmet guys. 
We're going to go Pot of Generosity, put back two more Gizmet guys. We're going to overlay the Crooked Cooks into a Numeron Dragon. We're going to go Thunder Spark Dragon to pop that. Never before seen play. Resetting Pot of Generosity. Magical Stone Activation, discard two, add MST. Pot of Generosity, putting back Magical Mallet one for one. Harmonizing Magician and Gate Zero. Pendulum Summoning. Wait, so we Pendulum Summon Dark Samorg, End of Anubis. We went Bamboo Shoot. We're Normal Summoning Fog King. MS Sting our Gate Zero. Activating Zany Zebra. Zany Zebra's effect to lock a zone. We're going to go Ground Collapse, lock, lock two more. Ground Collapse, lock two more. The Bamboo Shoot was Tribute Summoned over a Camellia. So, for context... The opponent has no monster zones. Fog King says neither player can tribute cards. So no kaijus. Dark Samorg says the opponent cannot set cards. So no traps. Bamboo Shoot says your opponent cannot activate spell or traps. And End of Anubis says no grave effects. How, what even is the out to this? Is there even a card that beats this board? Let's see. Discard for hand size limit. New, new effect. Dump Tsushinoko. Pass. But we don't have game on board. How are we winning the game? Oh, we just summon Obelisk the Tormentor with the spell card and we go Obelisk for game. Fucking Hulk smash, my guy! That should be illegal. That should literally be illegal, man.